Ladies and gentlemen, it is your amazing host here. Excuse me, it is Team Rock right now. How is everyone doing on this Monday's edition? I am doing very well. And of course, I'll discuss my social media accounts when this video is completely over. Okay, now I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some to drink. Or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And, of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. It will be strictly a link. Now, if you watch Bad Blood recently, when the show was over, they had an incident between Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens. Now, I'm really surprised that we went in that kind of direction, you know, off the pay per view or PLE. Usually in the past, when there's a brawl, they show that kind of stuff. But I guess since Triple H took over, they want to go into a different direction. So Kevin Owens finally turned heel. About darn time. He should have done that a long time ago. Now, this past Friday, he did it again. But this time, he had an issue with Randy Orton. Uh, there was a video footage from this past Friday. If you want to see it, go check it out. If not, that's okay. Now, this is just my prediction. I really think we are definitely going to get Kevin Owens, um, Cody Rhodes, and in Randy Orton, a triple threat match. So once again, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, and um, Cody Rhodes. You know, I don't know if the title will be online or not. So because Randy Orton is supposed to be Mr. Peacemaker and other stuff, you know. So we'll see if that match does happen. They might just save it for. Crown Jewel next month, you know, because I'm assuming Cody Rhodes actually probably be a a normal triple threat match. I'm assuming because they're gonna have their own belt for that show, you know. I don't like that, but that's how it is. So, and then, and I also think he will not defend his belt at the Rashers, you know, you know how WWE is. So probably he'll defend it, hopefully, at the Royal Rumble. So I hopefully, since Kevin Owens is heel, give him the title. Come on, W. Come on, Triple H. What are you waiting for? You know, Kevin Owens is not getting any younger. You know, he's up there in age. And I know you're going to say, people, age is just a number. I totally agree. But I don't know if W is willing to give him the proper title run. Hopefully. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. You know? But I'm not going to hold my breath to it. And I don't think still he has not signed a brand new contract with the, I don't re recall. You know? So, because you know, AEW is willing to give him any kind of money that he wants. So, if Dewey is stupid enough, is not giving the money that he deserves, then they're dumb. Look at the other people who recently resigned. And then we, the, the other people are on a legend contract. So we know that Dewey has tons of money. They're not cheap ass company. They're not. They have plenty of money to spend. You know, we'll see. You know? So that's about it. Sorry for saying that word. So. Since WWE and Tico merge, they had plenty of money to spend. You know? I don't think Kevin Owens has nothing to worry about. I'd be surprised if WWE decided to not give him the contract that he deserves, you know? So that's all I want to say. Now, I really think eventually Randy Orton needs to turn heel. You know? He don't need a title anymore for his career because he has done it. 
is done enough. Now I know a lot of you Randy Orton fans say yes, he needs some more one more title run because since he came back last November, I don't think so. You know, let the other guys get it. You know, I mean he could be in a title match, but don't give him the opportunity of become champion. You know, so that's it. Plus he's never there. Only one that he really needs him right now. Right now, he is in his amazing angle with Kevin Owens and Corey Rhodes. But when that's over with, probably won't see right now for a while again. I'm assuming. Not injury. Talking about just they don't need him on TV, but hopefully I am wrong. Now, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. Now, of course, if you want to be part of my show, that'd be delightful. If not, do you want to buy it? Have a good one. I'll be back tonight. Adios. Thanks for watching.